I'm gonna show you how to install a tushy on a skirted toilet. First step, turn off your water. Hi, it's Frozen Carrie, and I'll be making a few appearances in this video to give you extra tips and tricks. When you're turning off your water, make sure to do quarter turns and turn consciously, and watch out for mineral buildup and rust. Second step, flush your toilet to make sure that the tank is empty. Next, you wanna take off the toilet seat. And depending on how your toilet seat is, you just use a screwdriver, if you can't reach behind the toilet, just unscrew. You'll likely have an expanding rubber nut. All right, now take your toilet seat off. After you remove your seat, it's time to put the 3 8 adapter on your hose. So most skirted toilets, you don't have access to the tank connection to your toilet. And so we have a hack for this and you can order the 3 8 adapter on our website and it simply goes in between this connection. You'll likely need a wrench to first loosen the water connection, then use your fingers to unscrew the rest of the connection to your water supply. You have your 3 8 adapter and you simply screw it in here. Tighten with your fingers first, then use a wrench if needed. If you have leaks later, use a wrench to seal, but make sure not to over tighten. This part will connect to your tushy, so make sure it's facing forward, and then you can reconnect the bottom to your water supply. All right, next, you're gonna attach your steel flexible hose. Tighten with your fingers first, then use a wrench if needed. If you have leaks later, use a wrench to seal, but make sure not to over tighten. And now this connects to your tushy. So grab your tushy, flip it around, screw on the water connection, and then line up your tushy on the toilet and put your seat back on. Grab your seat, grab your screws, insert them into the hole. You may see that your screws are too short, and in that case, check out the video on needing longer screws. You can get them on our spare parts page, Amazon, or a local hardware store. And your toilet seat's on, your tushy's connected. Now is the moment of truth where you turn on the water and check for leaks. And after a few seconds, touch around the connections and make sure there's no leaks. If you have leaks at the water connection to the wall, make sure your rubber washer is in the 3 8 adapter. Make sure the connections are not misthreaded and are screwed on straight. If not, you'll likely have leaks. And stop screwing once you feel that it's tight and make sure not to over tighten. And you're good to go. And again, if you ever have any questions at all, please email install at hellotushy.com.